welcome back to my channel Om Bro, di video kali ini edisi paling keren Om Bro Tempatnya Om Bro tidak asing lagi kan Hari ini saya diundang salah satu pemain persib yang tidak asing bagi Om Bro, Om Bro semua Om Bro pasti kenal kan Gimana keseruannya kita ngobrol tentang sepak bola bersama titik-titik pemain Persib Bandung Saksikan terus Om Bro, check this out Lihat, teman saya sudah menunggu dari tadi Om Bro Salah satu profesional football Om Bro Kata orang Om Bro, mirip sama saya Gimana kata Om Bro? Ayo! Hmm. Halo, my friend! Halo, I'm fan! Oke, oke Ya, thank you! How are you? Ha, Alhamdulillah, I'm fan. Gimana kabar, Mr. Nick? Everything okay. Everything okay. <laughs> Siap. Gimana Liga, Mr. Nick? Uh, tidak bagus. Tidak bagus. Kenapa tidak bagus? No good. No good. It's, uh, it's delay for uh, four weeks. Four weeks? So, Why? Start, start of November we start. November start. Again. Okay. So, uh, I have one day off now, so... Uh, selama delay, kegiatan apa yang Nick lakukan? Um, I do so many things, uh, like cooking every day. <laughs> cooking? Johnny Rep. Hey, serius? Yes. Om Bro, Nick ini punya resto. Restonya namanya Johnny Rep. Dan ada di sini Om Bro, restonya. Keseruannya gimana? Kalau kita lihat Nick masak Om Bro, pemain salah satu profesional football Masak Om Bro. But um, I will cook first for you, give you a good meal. Oh yeah? That we talk, okay? Okay? You sure? Yes. Okay. I'm ready. Mm. Masakannya Mr. Nick sudah jadi Saya nggak nyangka Profesional football bisa masak Om Bro Tapi rasanya nggak tahu nih Kita cicipin ya Om Bro ya <laughs> Looks good eh? Yes I hope you like it ah. <laughs> Try it first yeah. This is our new rep okay. uh, We make uh, Now the first time actually, Or we test it already mm -hmm. But you are the first one who can try it Okay. It's a gado gado wrap. Gado gado wrap ini ya. I hope you like gado gado. Yes, I like. Yeah. Yes. So try it. Okay. And I, and I hope you like it. Om Bro, ini menu ala Eropa dibalut, tapi isinya tetap Indonesia food. Gado gado, Mister Nick ya. Gado -gado. Ini belum launching, Om Bro. Saya orang pertama yang nyicipin kreasinya Mister Nick. Yo, Om Bro, kita cicipin masakannya Mister Nick. Hmm. Hmm. Nice. Yes. Enak Om Bro. Enggak nyangka Om Bro. Gado-gado <laughs> dikolaborasi dengan selera Eropa Om Bro. Hmm. Good. Very good. Very good. Is it, is it good or very good? Very, very. Very, very, very. very, very good. Hmm. How you like the taste? Rasanya saya suka. I like. Yeah. I like Mr. Nick. Yeah. Okay. That's hmm. uh, I'm very happy with it. Ami, siap. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Om Bro, nggak nyangka bule bisa masak gado-gado seenak ini Om Bro. Istri saya aja mungkin kalah ini Om Bro. Nggak nyangka kan Om Bro bisa seenak ini bule masak gado-gado. 
I hope you're hungry today. Yes. Because we have also, I'm hungry, Mr. We have also quesadilla with uh, beef. Okay. El, it's called El Clasico uh, Sapi. Okay. So beef. If you want to try. Mm -hmm. Bole, bole. This is already in the menu. Sí. Uh, so I hope you like this also. So okay, okay. Go for it. Okay, Mr. Nick. Hmm. Om Bro, kali ini menu kedua Om Bro. Hmm, menu kedua ini terbuat dari daging sapi. Namanya Kasadia Om Bro. Ini kita bel belum uh, belum cicipi rasanya seperti apa, tapi tampilannya ini keren Om Bro. Belum ada di Indonesia. Saya temuin resto di di manapun di Indonesia belum belum ada menu seperti ini. Om Bro, kita cicipin yuk. Hmm. Hmm. Dagingnya empuk, Om Bro. Dan e, rasa rasa rempah-rempahnya itu e, sangat terasa. Jadi amisnya itu sama sekali nggak ada, Om Bro. Yes, that's what they what they told me also. Yeah. That the Indonesian people really like uh, food like this. Ya. Yeah. Ini masakan Om Bro. Ini masakan Eropa, tapi cocok di lidah orang Indonesia. Orang Asia ini pasti suka, Om Bro. Jadi ini Mr. Nick Indonesia banget. Is food is Indonesia banget. It's sweet that. Eh? Yeah, like very very likes. Orang Indonesia pasti sangat suka. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and, like, yeah. and they all told it's 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 nice and mm. sweet and mm. they really like the sweet food. Mm. So I think it's very good. Mr. Nick. People. Yeah. Kapan buka cabang di Indonesia yang banyak? I opened the brand in the Netherlands uh, four years ago. Yeah. And now in Indonesia, uh, it's four months, mm -hmm. so it's uh, j just start. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and what the what the people said actually the same like you. Yeah, it's 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 a good taste, and the people in Indonesia won't like it because yes. uh, want to like it because it's it's a sweet taste, and they really like it. So that's why I try to come here mm -hmm. with this uh, with this concept, mm -hmm. and I think uh, it's a good one. Yeah. Seorang pemain bola profesional Om Bro, tapi insting bisnisnya tidak kalah dengan Om Bro semua. Dengan bekal dari Eropa, dengan Johnny Webnya, selera orang Indonesia, lidah Indonesia pasti cocok Om Bro. Mr. Nick, kapan mulai menyukai sepak bola? I was uh, four years old. Hmm? Start, uh playing football because my dad played mm. and uh, yeah, I really liked it, I always did it mm. and uh, um, yeah, I, I, I started playing mm. and, uh, when I was 10 years old mm. I go to a uh, professional uh, club in, yeah, professional club, yeah. Yeah, in mm. uh, Maastricht mm. and when I was 17 uh, I made my debut, my first first game 17? 17 uh, yep. mm. And uh, yeah, I always really liked it. I mm. work very hard for it, and uh, yeah, now I'm in uh, Indonesia. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, it's a different. But I really like it. I like it. Mr. Nick, kapan uh, ke Indonesia dan bergabung ke Persib? One year ago, mm. in August, mm. uh, I got a call from mm. uh, the coach Robert Albert. Robert Albert asked mm. me to mm. to come to Indonesia. Yeah. Mm. And I, it was for me totally new. Yeah. Um, but I'm very happy to be here now. Uh, I already play here one year, mm. and I really like it. And mm. the mm. city is it's, it's uh, mm. amazing. The club is, is mm. very big, and mm. so many supporters. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, so for me, it's, mm. it's all mm. uh, complete. It's, it's yeah. uh, really nice to be here. Mm. Mm. Mr. Nick, last question. Sepenting apakah sepak bola bagi Mr. Nick? Actually, it's 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 everything. It's my everything. It's my job, and I always did it okay. in my life. So actually, I every day, everywhere I go, it's, huh. it's football. People talk about hmm. football every time. Yeah. So actually, it's my life. It's, it's, it's everything. So I'm very happy hmm. that I can play it and on on a on a good level hmm. in a beautiful city, hmm. and country, hmm. and uh, yeah, so. For me, it's mm. uh, it's amazing to be here mm. and play, play football. So it's yeah. it's actually very important. Yeah. So now you're full a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
tell me something about you because you, you do something with birds. Birds, you okay. Have a big business with birds. Yes. And for me, it's actually totally new that I see birds everywhere. Yeah. In the back of the bike. And, okay. Uh, everywhere. So, <laughs> um, if you can tell me something about it. Yes, uh, Mr. Nick. Bisnis di dunia hobi di era pandemi ini memang serba susah. Belum juga persaingan antar sesama kompetitor. Tapi karena tadi Mr. Nick bilang totalitas dan fokus itulah yang sedang kita jalani dan kita terapkan uh, ke manajemen untuk tetap total fokus. Jadi walaupun pandemi ini tidak masalah dalam hal bisnis di hobi ini. Cuman gelar-gelaran gelaran-gelaran lomba-lomba skala nasional izinnya agak susah tapi permintaan barang sedang bagus-bagusnya. Can you show me something about your business? Oke. Okay. Yes. Yes. Hmm. Oke, okay, Mister saya take and my product. Yes. Hmm. 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 Ah, is that's my product, Mister. Hmm. It's competition but. Uh, Do you have a uh, uh, favorite bird? Yes, I have. Yes. Yes. It's, it's, it's this one or a different one? Different. Saya paling suka murai murai batu, Mister Nick. Jadi, what, what, is, what is the difference? Bedanya kalau murai batu ini fisiknya agak besar, agak besar, ekornya panjang. Jadi dilihat itu sekilas udah udah menarik, udah cantik, sudah anggun gitu loh, Mister Nick. Dilihat mata itu sudah. Uh, dari kecil saya udah suka jenis murai batu ini. Hmm. But if you if you uh, talk about your favorite bird, yeah. what, uh, what for example is the price of a bird like that? Mister nih kalau menghitung harga murai batu, saya bahkan lupa. Kalau saya beli, uh, jadi saya beli udah jadi Mister nih kayak ohara nih. Ohara adalah burung uh, burung favorit saya. Burung benar-benar sudah sehati dengan saya hingga orang menawar sampai lima sampai tiga miliar dengan saat ditambah satu mobil tidak saya kasih Mister Nick. Three billion rupiah. Rupiah, yeah. It's same like a house, big house. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Three billion. Hmm. Yes. Very expensive. Very expensive. Tapi karena sudah sehati jadi uh, bagaimanapun tidak akan saya jual Mister Nick. Hmm. But. Uh, 3 billion it's it's like 180,000 dollars, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> And your your competition start this month. What's the name of the competition? Jadi kompetisi yang akan saya persiapkan di bulan ini namanya Piala Pasundan, Mr. Nick. Piala Pasundan ini saya dedikasikan untuk teman-teman Jawa Barat biar uh, Jawa Barat itu mempunyai event kolosal yang benar-benar mewah untuk uh, lomba kicauan. Jadi Berbagai teman-teman kicau seluruh Indonesia itu hadir di Piala Pasundan, Mr. Nick. 11 Oktober 2020. Saya undang Mr. Nick kalau datang ke event Piala Pasundan. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Nick, jadi gimana nih bisnis makanannya? Ya, yeah, what I already told you, I start four years ago yeah. with a friend, mm -hmm. who's football player also, mm -hmm. in the highest division of uh, mm -hmm. Netherlands. Yeah. And, uh, Yeah, actually, we want to start something healthy mm -hmm. and uh, good food. Mm. Uh, so we started this in Maastricht, the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. And I came to Bandung. Mm -hmm. And uh, Freddy's, the owner of uh, of this re restaurant we are now. Yep. Um, he asked me, what about Johnny Reb? Maybe it's a good idea to mm -hmm. uh, start it in Bandung also. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I talked with him and we uh, looked for opportunities. Mm. Yeah, I think it was a really good idea. Mm -hmm to start it in, uh, mm. in Bandung because mm. what you already told uh, told me that mm. people like the sweet food yeah. and like. it's it's a healthy food mm. so mm. I think it's it's a it's a best combination. Yeah. So that's why I start this mm. here and mm. I really like it also. <laughs> Sometimes I came here for lunch yeah. and dinner. So uh, yeah. So it's uh, it's good food, it's yeah. it's healthy mm. and it uh, I mm. like it also mm. so I think it's uh, all complete and mm. nice. Okay. Mr. Nick, sebelum lanjut lagi, saya simpen burung saya biar tidak kepanasan. Oke? Okay. Mm. 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 Yeah. 
Mister Nick, kenapa dengan menu yang hebat ini, yang istimewa ini nggak segera dikembangkan di Indonesia? Saya yakin tidak perlu waktu lama untuk memasarkan menu sehat tapi enak gitu loh Mister Nick. When? I um, actually we just started here. Yes. So it's not really famous yet mm -hmm. uh, in Indonesia or in Bandung. Mm -hmm. So maybe in the future we never know. Mm -hmm. But we have to start somewhere mm -hmm. and we have to build and mm -hmm. maybe after we can put more stores, maybe yeah. shopping malls or something. Yes. But first I want to make the concept uh, perfect mm -hmm. in here and make it very famous in Bandung. Yeah. And when everything is uh, mm -hmm. okay in here. Mm -hmm. Dan kita akan fokus pada langkah selanjutnya. Step by step ya, yeah, Mr. Yeah, Nick. Ya. Mr. Nick, saya hanya butuh waktu 3 hari. 3 day untuk, untuk saya upload. Setelah saya upload, 3 hari kemudian kalau nggak kebanjiran order, jangan bilang saya, Mr. Nick. Karena saya saya yakin, karena cita rasanya itu dengan dengan gado-gado, gado-gado itu favorit Indonesia. Makanan sehat, tapi yang kalau makanan sehat yang saya kenal kan rasanya kurang enak Mister Nick kalau di Indonesia tapi ini makanan sehat tapi enak rasanya dan cocok di lidah semua orang Indonesia. But for now this is uh, we have with the sapi we have ayam. Yeah. Rendang. Rendang. I really like rendang. <laughs> like rendang. Very. Um. <laughs> but this one is new. It's it's is not you? on the menu yet. Yes. But we put it on the menu this week. Yeah. So yeah, if people uh, want to try it, they can try, of course. Yes. And uh, then we have, yeah, I, I think a uh, uh, menu with everything we yeah. need uh, for vegan. Hmm. Uh, yeah, and it, it's it's all complete with, with hmm. juices and uh, and drinks. Yeah. Quesadillas, hmm. or maybe small uh, hmm. lunch hmm. or something. Yeah. Tapi, Mister Nick, walaupun ini baru ber, belum di launching, baru trail, tapi saya coba rasanya very very nice enak gitu loh jadi nggak asing di lidah orang Asia gitu loh Mister Nick makanya dengan dengan bantuan uh, promo di sosial media terus uh, follower yang banyak saya yakin ini tidak perlu waktu lama untuk untuk mengenalkan brand Johnny Rap ini. What What if we make a promo so you can give your fans yeah? a, a promo for 10 or 15 percent? We have to talk about that. We make a plan, mm -hmm. and then it, you can give all your followers mm -hmm. uh, 15% discount mm -hmm. on the, our reps, and they can try. Mantap, Mr. Nick. Okay, deal, Mr. Nick. Deal. Om Bro, kabar bagus nih Om Bro. Mr. Nick memberikan diskon 15% dengan hashtag Prio Excellent. Bila Om Bro beli online ini akan mendapatkan diskon 15% dengan hashtag Prio Excellent. Keren kan Om Bro? Mr. Nick, gimana caranya ini dapat menu makanan seperti ini? Pemesanan, cara pemesannya seperti apa, Mr. Nick? They go to Gojek. Yep. They put your code. Yeah. Prio Excellent. Hashtag. Yes. yes. And then they get 15%. Please, uh, Mr. Lazen. Okay. If they come here in the uh, restaurant, uh -huh. they have to say to the to the people, to the workers, okay. uh, your code, and then they get 15%. Okay. Uh, Atau kalau tidak, Om Bro datang di Villa Cool Desak ini dan e, bisa bilang per, dari Prio Excellent bisa diskon 15% Om Bro. Om Bro, jadi menu makanan ini sehat, enak tapi bergizi Om Bro. Tapi enaknya lagi cocok di lidah kita. Om Bro bisa datang di Kuldesak Villa atau pesan via Gojek dengan hashtag Prio Excellent dapat diskon 15% loh Om Bro. Apa nggak enak Om Bro? Hmm, rasain Om Bro kalau nggak percaya datang ke sini. Hmm. Mantap Om Bro. Yes, very very thank you for coming. Yeah. I hope you enjoy the food. Mm -hmm. uh, enjoy the cooking. Okay. And uh, I really uh, nice to meet you and you show me your business. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm uh, very happy with uh, with our meeting today and Yeah. I hope we can uh, see each other soon. Mm. And you got a good competition. Yeah. Good business. I mean, yeah. Yes. Saya juga terima kasih Mr. Nick sudah dijamu makanan sehat habis sampai habis Mr. Nick Tapi saya yakin teman-teman kalau diperkenalkan dengan menu sehat dan bergizi Dan cocok dengan lidah orang orang Indonesia Pasti sukses juga buat Mr. Nick Sama-sama 
Om Bro, begitu tadi keseruan kita ngobrol dengan Mr. Nick Clippers, salah satu football profesional dan menetap di Indonesia dan bergabung di Persib Om Bro. Dan tak kalah pentingnya, Mr. Nick ini di Indonesia bukan hanya sekedar atlet, tapi dia juga bisnis dengan brand Johnny Rep yang akan dipasarkan di Indonesia. Tadi sudah saya coba Om Bro makanannya enak banget Om Bro. Om Bro, hari ini spesial. Terima kasih sudah menonton video sampai selesai dan jangan lupa Om Bro follow juga uh, Instagram Mr. Nick, YouTube-nya juga jangan lupa subscribe Nick Clippers. Jangan lupa ya Om Bro. Terima kasih Om Bro dan salam excellent.